Hi, welcome to On This Day in Tudor History with me, Claire Ridgway, author of several history books which you can just see behind me there. Now, where am I taking you back to today? Well, I'm taking you back to an event in Henry VIII's reign. For On This Day in Tudor History, the 24th of June 1532, the feast of St John the Baptist, Robert Dudley, Earl of Leicester and favourite of Queen Elizabeth I was born. Now, the following overview of Robert Dudley's life is based on an article that I wrote a few years ago for the Tudor Society. Robert Dudley, Earl of Leicester, was the fifth son of John Dudley, Duke of Northumberland, and his wife, Jane Guildford. Robert received a humanist education, and his tutors included the likes of John Dee, Thomas Wilson, Roger Ascombe, and Robert's uncle, Sir Francis Jobson, and he was brought up as a Protestant. He could write and speak Italian fluently, had knowledge of French and Latin, and had a keen interest in navigation, engineering, and mathematics. He married Amy Robsart, his sweetheart, on the 4th of June, 1550, in the presence of King Edward VI. In July, 1553, on the death of King Edward VI, Lady Jane Grey, wife of Robert's brother, Guildford Dudley, became queen but her reign lasted just 13 days because Queen Mary I seized the throne. Guildford, Lady Jane or Queen Jane, and Robert's father, John Dudley, were later executed. Robert was imprisoned and condemned to death, but was fortunately released in autumn 1554. He served Mary I, fighting in the Battle of San Quentin in August 1557. Robert became Elizabeth I's Master of the Horse shortly after her accession in November 1558 and was elected a Knight of the Garter in April 1559. It was rumoured that he and the Queen, whom he'd known since childhood, were more than just friends and there was a scandal when Robert's wife, Amy, died in September 1560. There is still debate today over the nature of Elizabeth and Robert's relationship. Elizabeth called Robert her eyes and sweet Robin and spoke of making him the protector of the realm when she believed she was dying for smallpox in October 1562. He went on to serve her as a privy councillor and in 1563 Elizabeth put forward the idea that Robert should marry Mary Queen of Scots but this idea came to nothing. Robert was granted Kenilworth Castle in Warwickshire in June 1563 and he famously improved it for the Queen's visit in 1575, adding a gatehouse, luxury apartments and a beautiful garden. He also held a lavish celebration there which lasted over two weeks and which is seen as a last ditch attempt to win the Queen's hand in marriage. Unfortunately, it didn't work. Robert was descended on his father's side from Richard Beecham, Earl of Warwick, and so adopted the bare and ragged staff heraldic device of the Earls of Warwick. Robert had an illegitimate son, Robert Dudley, from his relationship with Lady Douglas Sheffield. This Robert Dudley, 1574 to 1649, became a well-known explorer and cartographer, leading an expedition to the West Indies in 1594. Robert secretly married Latisse Knowles, daughter of the Queen's cousin Catherine Carey and her husband Sir Francis Knowles, and Latisse was widow of Walter Devereux. He married her on the 21st of September 1578. The Queen was furious when she found out, and she referred to Latisse as the she-wolf. In 1581, Robert and Latisse had a son, Robert Dudley, Lord Denby, who was known as the Noble Imp but sadly he died in 1584 and was buried in the Collegiate Church of St Mary in Warwick. Robert Dudley founded Lord Leicester's Hospital in Warwick in 1571 and this beautiful Tudor building can still be seen in Warwick today. He was made commander of the English forces in the Netherlands in 1585 and when the Spanish Armada threatened England in 1588, Robert was in charge of mustering the English land forces as Lieutenant and Captain General of the Queen's armies and companies and was responsible for Elizabeth's famous visit to Tilbury where she gave her famous Tilbury speech. 
Robert supported the execution of Mary Queen of Scots in 1587 and financially supported Sir Francis Drake's circumnavigation of the world. He was Chancellor of the University of Oxford and was a known patron of the arts, being interested in theatre, literature and history. He had his own company of players and was the patron of the artist and miniaturist Nicholas Hilliard. Robert Dudley, Earl of Leicester, died at Cornbury Park near Oxford on the 4th of September 1588 on his way to take the waters at Buxton for his health. Elizabeth I was distraught at the news of Robert's death and locked herself away for days. She kept the last letter he wrote to her shortly before his death, keeping it in a box beside her bed and writing on it his last letter. And I'll give you a link to my video on his death and his last letter. Robert Dudley was buried at the Collegiate Church of St Mary in Warwick and shares a tomb there with his wife Latisse who died in 1634. His brother Ambrose Dudley, Earl of Warwick, is also buried there. Also on this day in Tudor history, the 24th of June 1509, 17-year-old King Henry VIII and his Queen Consort Catherine of Aragon were crowned King and Queen at a joint coronation ceremony at Westminster Abbey. You can find out more about their coronation in last year's video, which I'll give you a link to, and you can find the links in the description for this video. And today is also the feast of St John the Baptist and Midsummer. I explain how this was celebrated in Tudor times in a special video that I did, and I'll give you a link to that as well. Well, thank you for joining me. You can subscribe to this channel by clicking round about there. You can hit the bell to be notified as these videos go live and you can give me a like and leave me a comment. But I'll be back tomorrow. See you then. Bye bye.